In the last video, I told you that pathogens are a fancier word for germs and that they have these IDs called antigens, which allow the body to recognize them. Well, an antigen is in fact any substance that causes your immune system to produce antibodies against it. In other words, an antigen is a molecule which triggers an immune response. Therefore, an antigen is not recognized by your immune system, or in other words, your immune system recognizes it as foreign. Each antigen has distinct surface features called epitopes. The epitope is the smallest part of an antigen, which is recognized by our immune system as foreign and binds to an antibody. The specific part of the antibody which binds to the epitope is called the paratope. In response to antigens, the body produces antibodies or immunoglobins, which are Y-shaped proteins produced by B cells of the immune system. Each antibody contains a paratope, which recognizes a specific epitope on an antigen, acting like a lock and key binding mechanism. This is because antibodies are usually specific to antigens, therefore each type of antibody has a sort of soulmate to which it binds. This binding helps to eliminate antigens from the body either by direct neutralization or by tagging for other parts of the immune system. Therefore, if a pathogen mutates and thereby changes its antigen, a new type of antibody has to be produced in response to it. When infected with a pathogen, the body produces antibodies, and these bind specifically to the antigens and help eliminate that pathogen. This binding can also be harnessed to develop antibody and antigen-based diagnostic tests. Such tests, commonly called immunoassays, can detect the presence of a pathogen due to its antigen, which a specific monoclonal antibody will bind to. Vaccines are examples of antigens in an immunogenic form, which are intentionally administered to a patient to induce the memory function of the adaptive immune system towards antigens of the pathogen invading that patient. In this way, antigens can be used to train the body to quickly respond to future attacks of the same pathogen. In this video, we will look closer at how antibodies work.